This day in black history. A great orator of the 19th century, minister, abolitionist, and educator, Reverend Henry Highland Garnett died on February 13, 1882 in Monrovia, Liberia at the young age of 66. Garnett became an advocate of militant abolitionism. As a member of the American Anti-Slavery Society, Garnett was a regular speaker at abolitionist conferences. During an emotional speech at the 1843 National Negro Convention in Buffalo, New York, often referred to as the call to rebellion, Garnett called for freedom from slavery through militarism by encouraging slaves to revolt against their owners. Other abolitionists who spoke after Garnett included Frederick Douglass, who opposed his violent resistance. They supported the moral suasion method of fighting slavery and seeking morality as the reason for ending enslavement. A few years later, prior to the Civil War, he became an advocate of African-Americans immigrating to Liberia, Mexico, or the West Indies. His great oratorical ability was in use when he became the first African-American minister to preach to the United States House of Representatives on February 12, 1865, and he spoke on ending slavery. In 1881, Garnett received an appointment as president of Avery College and later was appointed U.S. minister to Liberia in 1881. Garnett was born a slave on December 23rd, 1815 in Newmarket, Kent County, Maryland. His family later escaped slavery and eventually arrived in New York City, where Garnett attended the African Free School. He committed a great amount of his life as a church pastor. Y'all be great like the lakes. Y'all be blessed like a sneeze. And remember that every day is black history.